hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing uh, let's start today's lesson so have you guys uh, found last videos challenge to import this uh, template only when the eye is even if you found it good then if not let's do it together so to do that we just write here if dot dollar sign i percentage sign 2 is equal to 0 then that show this and in the, here we will end our f so now let's go back to browser and refresh our page so as you guys can see it only shows when it's even so now let's uh, start today's lesson which is the basics of controller so to create a controller in the terminal we will write php artisan make controller and at the end we will write our controller name which i will name it pro that controller and hit enter so our controller is created successfully now let's go to app folder http controller and products controller so this is our controller now uh, let's go to web.php and create a new route here route gate uh, show product i will write it like this product and comma open array in here uh, write your uh, products controller name products controller and double colon class now comma again and after the second comma you have to write the method name which you write you will write inside products controller so i will also name it show products now let's add a semicolon in the and let's copy this go back to products controller now in here i will type to create a ma my method i will type public function my product name which is show products and inside this i will for now i will return this blade file so to do that i will say return view and my blade file name which is template now uh, let's copy our url and uh, let's go to back to browser now paste it here press enter and we will get this error so it say the target class products controller does not exist it means that we have forgot to use uh, our controller in here most of the time these codes import it automatically but sometimes it will not so in that case we have to write here use now space after that the path of our controller which is inside app backslash uh, http and backslash controllers again backslash now our controller class so now let's go uh, to browser refresh the page now you guys can see we got our this uh, template so if i write here ddd and refresh again so we get it so now let's go back to our controller products controller and pass some uh, variables to our this view so let's say in here i will write uh, dollar sign a is equal to 10 and dollar sign b is equal to 20 now let's uh, write here compact compact and our variable names like a string and comma my second uh, variable same like a, a string now in our template blade file here let's uh, 
show them a and here our second variable so let's go back to browser refresh so we got our variables in here let's uh, move back to our control controller now i don't want to return the view but i only want to return this uh, my variables to do that uh, if i write dollar sign a plus uh, dollar sign b let's go back to browser refresh i get the sum of them but i only want to return uh, both of them separately like 10 and 20 so if i write here if i do this and go back to browser refresh i get i will get an error which say unsupported operand in plus a string so to fix that instead of doing this we just have to write this add this dot so this will uh, con uh, bring our variables as you can see if i add a space between them also and another dot refresh again so this is the way if you want to return something from the controller uh, today's challenge is to make these uh, two variables dynamic uh, send it from the parameters from here for example if the user write here 30 and 20 in the state of uh, this two or, or let's say here 24 in the state of this two i want to show this 30 and 22 so if you guys know the answer if you found the answer please write it down in the comments if you, you didn't i will explain to you guys in the next video Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to press the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.